Make sure to subscribe to the Volume YouTube channel so you can catch all of our shows and get what everybody wants, more of me. All right, like all of you, I watched the Rams pretty much control from the very beginning the Arizona Cardinals. There's a lot of players in the NFL that can succeed regardless of where they're at. And when I say a lot, I mean two or three players per team, probably 25 to 50 players in the NFL. T.J. Watt's going to succeed anywhere. Aaron Donald's going to succeed anywhere. Um, you know, Rashawn Slater, the rookie left tackle for the Chargers, is going to succeed anywhere. But there are players who are dependent on others. Take a wide receiver. If you look at OBJ's career, dominant at college, a great program. Very productive, Eli Manning and Tom Coughlin, two Hall of Famers. Tom Coughlin leaves, there's dysfunction within the Giants, and he struggles. He goes to Cleveland, a carousel of coaches, the very average Baker Mayfield, he disappears. Then he goes to the Rams and once again emerges as a real threat. Fit matters. When he was in a program at LSU without chaos, when the Giants had Coughlin, no chaos, and when the Rams now have no chaos, he's a threat. Last couple of years in New York, several years in Cleveland, he disappears. Take Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford was the number one high school quarterback in the country. Super successful. He goes to Georgia. He's all freshman SEC team. He goes 3-0 and in bowls, 6-3 and in rivalry games, and is the number one pick. He flourishes. Here in Los Angeles, first year with the Rams in the toughest division in football. Matt Stafford wins the division, has the best fourth quarter passer rating in the league, and dominates his first playoff game at home. Where didn't he succeed? He struggled mightily in Detroit poorly owned and poorly run for his 12 to 13 years there. Both OBJ, a gifted wideout, and Matt Stafford, completely limited by scheme, fit, and the people above them. The Rams now are a tough matchup for Green Bay and Tampa Bay. Going forward, Jalen Ramsey can take out a Mike Evans or a Devontae Adams. And this running game with Cam Akers and Sony Michel is the real deal. It can put Tom Brady or an Aaron Rodgers on the bench. The Rams are going to be a handful for Brady initially and potentially Aaron Rodgers. I do think Green Bay beats the Niners at Lambeau. Let's talk Arizona. Listen, um, it's easy to beat up on Cliff Kingsbury. He was fired from his alma mater and appeared his first year to sort of be learning on the job. But let's give him credit. This is the toughest division in football, and he made the playoffs. Now, he has struggled from his first day against Sean McVay in the NFL. McVay struggles against Kyle Shanahan. Sometimes matchups don't work in your favor. But making the playoffs, to me, you keep Cliff Kingsbury around. He's obviously gotten better year after year after year. The more interesting component to Arizona is Kyler Murray. I felt going into this game with DeAndre Hopkins out, Murray had to be his most dynamic, not only in the pocket, but running around. Yet, why did he not run against the Rams? Let's theorize. Second year he's been hurt. He has potentially a big payday coming up. He's not going to put himself at risk. Let's theorize. You want to make money in this league and get the big tip payday? You got to be able to pass from the pocket. Kyler Murray wants to prove to the league, owner of the Cardinals and himself, I can do it from the pocket. Or Cliff Kingsbury decided, I'm not going to use my most dynamic athlete to run around and potentially elevate our offense. That seems unlikely. I thought it was very strange that Kyler Murray did not use his legs effectively against the Rams. We also saw something throughout this entire weekend. Jalen Hurts, young quarterback, overwhelmed. 
Kyler Murray, still a pretty young quarterback, looked overwhelmed and frantic. I mean, really looked frantic in the first half. The game was too fast. Uh, Mac Jones, not terrible, but at times overwhelmed. Look how good Brady looked, how in control Stafford looked. Josh Allen now in what, year four? Look at the veteran quarterbacks, Mahomes. Take a deep breath, under control. You don't sense anxiety or nerves. The playoffs are simply different. You get everybody's best shot. The games mean more. The practices are more intense. There's more discussion. There's more eyeballs. You're playing in standalone games in national TV. And you saw a lot of these young quarterbacks shrink.